LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to install your key onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out by looking at the metal plates or metal hooks that are on your keyboard. You can see that at the bottom here, there's a single large one. And at the top corners, there's two small ones. So you have to make sure to look at your different key sections because different keys have, uh, they might change position. The large one could be at the top or maybe to the side. So the position for those determine the position for these, which are the hinges. And we're going to do three steps. The first one is to click these hinges together to make one. Uh, the second step is to click that onto the keyboard. And the final step is to put the key cap on top of that. So we're going to start by determining the position for the large piece and you can see that at the top it has two holes at the corners then at the bottom it has two pins on each corner uh, I mean one pin on each corner also this piece has a hole at the uh, center of the vertical bars I'm not sure if you can see that but that's where the other hinge is going to click onto now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like this because it won't allow the mechanism to work even though it looks the same. So you have to feel the side bar here, the vertical one. If it's one smooth piece from top to bottom that faces away from the keyboard and if you feel a bump or discontinuations in the plastic piece that faces and touches the keyboard. So uh, these two small pins go wherever the large hook is. If the large hook were to be on top, then you flip this around, and in this case it's at the bottom, so we're going to leave that like that. Now you know the position for this piece, put it down for now, and get the other piece, which is this, and this bottom bar is going to go underneath the large hook, so we align that with that. The two pins in the middle are going to click onto the holes that are in the large piece and the top holes are going to grab onto the keycap. So make sure not to put this piece upside down like that by uh, looking for the, the bottom bar here. You can see it has um, a lower profile to it. and. Um, you have to make sure that that lower part of the bottom bar has um, the angle going downward towards the keyboard. So it's going to touch the, the uh, keyboard only with that bottom bar and that's the position for that. Now what you want to do is Put the uh, bottom, I mean the small piece, under over the large piece, and we're going to insert that pin that's to the left into the hole that's on the left of the larger piece. But at the same time, we have to put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece. So it's kind of like a uh, at the same time type of thing. Once you have that in hold it on so it doesn't come out and we have to put the other pin into the other hole here so we have to separate both pieces from each other 
separate them enough for the pin to go into that hole. Now both pieces are one. You want to put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large hook and slide it upwards as much as you can in order for the pins that are up here to go underneath the hooks that are up there. So make sure to stretch upward and then once you think it has enough space to go underneath those hooks, you just push down on it. Then you get your key cap and just put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it for the regular size key. Now for the enter key, it's the same procedure only on a larger scale. This is uh, how the hinges look. This uh, this part here is going to go wherever the large hook is. So you put that in there, then you stretch upward and finally put the top pin underneath those uh, hooks that are at the top also. Just like that. Have to stretch the hinges. Now the enter key has a metal wire which is this, and you, this is the right position for the keycap obviously, so you turn it this way, don't flip it the other way, like this. So let's go ahead and flip it that way, and the wire goes in the fittings that are at the very, very top. And you just put it right in the center, push it down till it clicks, then you put your key in the right position and flip it over like that, so you can see the wires. Now the wires have to go right through the fittings to the very left and right of the key space. So put that wire in those holes, then lay down your key cap and click it onto the hinges. That's it for the large key. Now we're going to do the space bar. And the space bar has the right position for it, which is you know, the top has the square cut and the bottom is has an angle to it so we're going to flip it over this way and that's how you can see the right position for those um the wires well wow, it's really having a hard time focusing but that's the right position for the wires the large one goes at the very top fittings and this one goes in the middle so flip it over this way and assuming you already have the hinges in there, uh, you just put the wire through those holes also, then you flip your key and push it down evenly on all sides so that it clicks onto the hinges, and that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.